going on everybody out in the garage got my beverage this one's almost done done um so yeah out in the garage um i'm gonna start working under the car today um i said i got this here um i want to get the anchors welded in and then start cleaning up all the stuff do the finishing thing uh finishing the seam sealer um and then we can do the pour 15 under there i got a wire brush on the drill to clean up the rust the other thing is is i picked up um the homemade stands from my friend tommy who owns you guys might know him uh she's foxy uh tommy he's got the black four-eyed hatch with the gold wheels uh sv wheels on it and he calls it calls her she foxy um he's actually doing a turbo on three turbo kit on his car this winter so we'll have some stuff on that later in the year still dropping stuff so i got the stands so the car is up on the stands so we can get under there uh as you can see i found a different color red so this one's a bit darker more closer to the to the car so I'm messing around. I this is what I do, guys. You know how I me? Mean, I know I have no patience to see how things are gonna look. Um, so I just man, I'm gonna have to resand the whole car anyways. Um, but I just I don't know. I found a different color red. Maybe we'll spray bomb it. I haven't decided. I'm just messing around. Right? It all depends on timing. But if I get it together and we're rolling, uh, you know. The summer spray bomb job, honestly, won't be too bad. You know, it's not perfect, but the door is turning out pretty sweet. A couple little spots in it, but not too bad. So, like I said, um, we're just, I'm just right now, I'm cleaning underneath the car. Um, I'm crawling under there. We're getting the, uh, all little spots off, like, just little surface rust spots, you know, from sitting in the field. I'm gonna clean the the frame connectors, got rust on them, as you can see, like surface rust. So we're gonna clean those right down anywhere where I can see a little surface rust. Plus we're gonna scrape a lot of the thick, goopy stuff off as much as we can. Cause like I said, once the pour 15 is done, we will be undercoating the whole car. All right guys, back out here, uh, Sunday. Um, after doing the seam sealer and stuff, that is all um, all done. So today the goal is to get the seat anchors welded in. And then I started undercoating the car. I don't know if you can see it. You should be able to. So I started doing an undercoat under the whole car. Not where the seats are, but just to kind of get everything cleaned up. And... Uh, we get right over here so you guys can see see so i've got all of it in there it's wet right now so um you know if you're gonna do undercoat in your garage guys put a board down because it just falls right on the floor so it gets everywhere so wear gloves things like that and uh yeah so i just kind of doing some undercoating just under everything um just so <coughs> sorry just so I know the floors, everything's done. And then, like I said, we can just focus on all the other body work and things like that. Um, so I'm just gonna continue on. I'm gonna get set up, get ready to uh, put the seat anchors in. So those are done. And then, uh, then we'll finish uh, undercoating the underneath. So that stuff can dry and then we're, we're good for under there. I tried a different color, I got the clear coat on here. So different color. Uh, this is a deeper, darker red. Um, it's actually international red. So I'm trying this out just to see what it'll look like. So I'm gonna let the clear sit overnight till tomorrow. Then I'll try wet sanding it and see what it turns out like. Like I said, it's just a spray can, but uh, we're making pretty good progress. I'm very happy with how the underneath of the car looks now. It like almost looks factory aside from where the cut lines are. So it actually turned out really well. Um, 
once I set, like once I'm done with the undercoating and done with everything, we'll go under there and we'll show you guys exactly what it looks like. You've seen before. So, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to get set up to get the seat anchors in and I'll show you guys how I do that. Okay. All right, guys. So let's just clean a couple things up here. This in there. Uh, move this stuff over here. Let me turn my flashlight off. So because I want to do a similar type of um, like factory, these were tacked in. So um, I've seen a lot of guys weld all the way around them on the outsides and things like that. I want it to be the same as factory. So we're going to drill some holes to do some tack welds and uh, we're going to tack them in and we should be good. So um, that's what I'm going to do with all of them. I have all four right now, and then uh, we're going to, uh, then we can start with the welder, getting them in there. Um, everybody has their way. Like I said, I'm trying to be, to look as factory as possible, you know, so at first glance, you know, it looks like it's never been messed with, even though it's been messed with. So you can see, I got my four holes for my tacks. Um, I'm gonna grind it up with the grinder. I gotta grind the floor and then we'll start Getting the welder set up pretty much ready to start welding the bracket in. so I'm gonna show you I'm using a nut As a spacer to help hold it up with the original seat bolt nut that I have um, Sorry um, Well, not the original but the ones that it came with it and then under here, you can see I have it in place. Try to get it as straight as possible. I've grounded down all there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna zap each spot weld in and we'll be done, right? So I'm gonna try to set you up. I don't know if the car's high enough. I don't want the tar or the rubberized undercoating to get on my, my phone. But I'll try to set you up so you can see me tack it in. If not, we'll be back after it's tacked in, okay? Uh, flashlight still under here? No. All right. So, anyways, hopefully you can see that. That one's in. That one's in. So now we just got to finish doing the undercoating on the floor. And uh, she'll be done on this side. Then we'll have to move to that side and uh, get it sorted out. Um, and then go from there. Then we can start putting the seats in there and after once I get the carpet and everything. But like I said... The floors this time will be 100% completely finished, which will be nice. And like I said, we just focus on whatever else we need to focus on. So I'm gonna get the undercoat and done because it's super messy. I don't want this stuff all over my cell phone. Um, and uh, I'll get the other anchors done on that side. And then we'll come back and I'll show you guys what it likes, looks like underneath completely undercoated, okay? Got the seat anchors welded in. Uh, that's all done. I did seam sealer around these metal caps. That one's actually black because I did paint the floor with the port 15 uh, with that side in. Um, so with that being said, let me get my flashlight out. And I just want to show you guys what the underneath looks like. Hopefully you can see it. Like I said, I can't get up too high. So, um... That should be better. Okay. So, as you can see, here is the floors, completed floors. I did seam seal all the spots, but look at that, guys. Even the edges here, I seam sealed everything. So, look at that. Get in here. Looks pretty good. All the floors, everything done super nice it's still wet so you know you kind of get the idea looks really good right i'm pretty happy with how this all turned out so you guys can see so everything is the whole car is going to get undercoated um just because easier that way um, just to kind of 
You can see the seam where the floor joins, like everything looks pretty good. You can look on that side where I made the pieces. So it all looks pretty good there, guys. Just got it all undercoated. So tomorrow uh, it should be pretty dry. But as you can see, we got a rust-free car now. Yes. You know, when did I buy this car, guys? How many months ago did I buy this car? Can't even remember. So um, a few months back anyways, um, I'll have to look, but rust-free, which is awesome. So that's a pretty huge accomplishment. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a lot of work. Um, to get to this point, um, you know, obviously you guys have been watching, so it's it's starting to really, really come together now. Um, you know, I'm working on the bodywork now, but the fact that the floors are 100% done, next week um, we'll finish the sound deadening here, um, and then we can start essentially uh, putting the interior back in. So permanently putting the dash in, the wiring, all that stuff. I have all the wiring here. Um, just to start getting ready to put the car together. Um, the other thing is maybe we paint it first. I am messing around with some stuff. Um, but I'm still leaning towards actually painting it at the shop with a paint gun instead of a spray can. But um, I haven't decided, right? So it all depends on what happens. Um, time frame, like, uh, I don't know if I'll paint it myself or if Mike will do it. Um, I feel more confident with Mike doing it, but I still do have to do a lot of body work um, on the car. It's not horrible, but to make it perfect, I still got to fix the dent on the other side. This door still needs a little bit of work although it does look pretty good it does need work i still gotta deal with dan here get the rest of the undercoating off the doors both side needs some work still um you know so there's a lot of prep 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 that's why it's nice that it's up on these blocks it brings it up a bit higher and i can uh you know work not trying to lay on the ground for everything right and also i was able to slide under the car and uh get the hole underneath undercoated, get the anchors welded in and stuff like that. So it's gonna be nice to be able to put the dash in, put the steering column in, hook the steering shaft up. We'll be able to turn the wheels and stuff um, and eventually just get this car happening. You know what I mean? Um, got a transmission coming, like I said, but uh, yeah, it, it I like how it looks under there. It looks pretty good considering, you know, it's two piece floor pan. I did want to do a full floor pan, but unfortunately, um, it was just too expensive guys. Like sometimes you got, you know, you get these things in your mind and you want to do it. And I probably could have saved and waited, but, um, you know, what's the fun in that? And this is just as good. And who knows, maybe if there's an issue down the road, you know, maybe later on I can cut it all out again and put a new full floor pan in. Because if realistically, if we did a full floor pan, you wouldn't have those seams and it'd be rust free. And it's rust free now because I cut all the rust out of it. So, um, you know, it's pretty good. So with that being said, that's kind of all I'm doing today. Um, something for midweek uh, for you guys. Uh, to to watch and uh i still haven't patched that hatch yet so maybe that'll be next video um and i'm still trying to get fenders because i want to start putting everything on um and lining everything up because i'm ordering those um those sanding blocks so we can start sanding nicely like getting this thing prepped out it will be all in primer and then we'll decide what we're going to do with paint. Um, so it will be staying red, guys. Um, if anybody was wondering, 
I've decided to leave the car red, so that's why we're testing with red. I did have some other ideas about doing different colors, like a dark gray or an auto gray, but um, I'm not that confident in my bodywork. <laughs> so um, we're gonna leave her red. It's a little bit easier to paint it red than it is to change the color on it, even though we are this far down. But that's what's happening. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, you know, I really love to get to 1,000 subs this year. Um, you know, that'd be awesome. Um, my Instagram, you know, we're pushing 2,000 followers on there. So, you know, we're, we're doing pretty good, guys. Um, I appreciate all of you just, like, watching and giving the feedback and the confidence. It keeps me going because there's days where I just get not motivated to do this shit. So, uh, on a project that's this big, you know, some of you might have been through this kind of project. Some of you might not have, but you can kind of see how it goes. Yes, I'm making good progress, but, you know, I, I'm sacrificing because, you know, you got to spend a day in here. You know, I got three kids, I got a wife, you know, so the wife's pretty understanding and, um, she understands what I'm trying to do. And she knows that, um, stuff like this helps me with my mental health and things like that. So it's like therapy for me, um, and stuff like that. So, you know, enough of my rambling. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for liking the videos. I will catch you on the next one. Have a good night.